Something a bit different today. I'm possibly one of the world's leading golf fitness training centers, Precision Athletica here in Sydney. This place is like a hip factory when it comes to training elite golfers. We're talking about the likes of Cam Davis, who's now on the PGA Tour and featured in the President's Cup. You've got Harrison Crow, who a week ago won the Asia Pacific Amateur Championship and is now going to play in the Masters and the British Open next year. Steph Kiriakou, Ladies European Tour Rookie of the Year. Grace Kim won the Youth Olympic Gold Medal for Australia. And then you've got other top talents like Travis Smythe, Blake Windred, Harrison Endicott, and tons and tons of juniors and pros coming through with them. The cool thing is, they don't just train elite golfers. They train regular golfers just like me and they can work with people in person or online. The reason that I'm here, depending on when the video comes out, I'll have just turned 39. And it's probably a relatable story, but two kids, full-time job. The YouTube videos are definitely a hobby right now. So I've not got a lot of time for fitness. I've put a lot of weight on in the last year. And I'm really at a point now where I want to do something about it. I want to do some fitness work. And if I'm going to do fitness work, I want to do something that's going to help my golf game. All right, guys, I'm here with Nils Hesterman, who's the head of performance here at Precision Athletica. This guy's worked with some really elite golfers and I am massively out of my comfort zone today, not being that fit and not being that elite. But even still, what can you do for me? <laughs> uh, thanks, John. <laughs> Put the pressure on me. First of all, like in the end, everyone starts the same within your goal. Um, we already spoke about that. I know what your goals are and I know where you want to be in a few months time. <laughs> So for us to create a, a, a really good program for you, we first of all, we start with a, a general fitness test. We do know that golf is a power sport. So what I'm interested in is mainly strength today. So yeah. I want to do a good strength assessment, yeah. but I also want to see what your strength capacity is, how you sustain the strength over time. So that's a, a big one for today. This will be interesting. I'm uh, definitely not an elite athlete, but I'm going to give it my best. And then I'm looking forward to the program that's going to come from it and hopefully over the next few months I'm going to be able to work on some things that's going to help my fitness, help my health and hopefully help my golf game. Let's get into it. Awesome. <laughs> so we start with some grip strength. Um, just hold it in your right hand. Just go into a split stance. Good, bring that right arm up. Okay, and then just get your deep breath in and squeeze as hard as you can and slowly bring it past your hip. All right, let's go. And squeeze, 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 and relax. So usually we look at something about 50 for males, especially around your age. Um, so you've got 59 there. That's a pretty good number. That's good a good start. start. That's a good start. Same thing. And relax. Good. And 55 on your left. So a big thing as well with grip strength, first of all, it's, it's very neural. So we can, if we do test it over time, get a bit of a trend as well in your fatigue, which obviously is a big one, especially when you want to hit the ball long. Yeah. Um, and then secondly as well, injury risk, especially around the wrist, elbow, shoulder. Um, good grip strength is, is definitely helpful in preventing, oh, preventing some of those. Up. Nice. Good. Three, two, one. Drive up. Nice. Good. Start in three, two, one and let's go. And come on, squeeze, 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 and relax. Good, nice. And then we do that out again in three, two, one, and let's go. Push, 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 and relax. Perfect. Same principle here. I count you in three, two, one, and then we're pushing down first. Okay, ready in three, two, one, let's go. And push, 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 push. And relax, good. And then we're going up in three, two, one, let's go. And drive, 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 and relax. So it's two minute hold. You have to hold it there for two minutes. Just put your foot in front. I'm serious about that. About the hold of the team? Yeah. Uh, 143, nice. Let's go. Two, one, and relax. Awesome, well done. So we want to feel that ideally into your lower back. It's a back extension hold, so lower back. Very big one. Two, one, and relax. Nice, well done. Just do a squat, do a squat. <laughs> what are you telling me? 
come forward a little bit more. And let's go. Come on. And relax. Nice. Good work. Well done. With this one, it's just a max. So yeah, I don't think this will take long. However many reps you can do. Come on, come on, come on. All the way. All the way. Up, 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 up. Nice, uh, seven. Ideally above 20. That's the goal. When you're ready, hips are up. Okay. Up. Relax. Nice, well done. Stick. Good. Alright. 185. Stick. Good. Stick. Good. Jenny. I made it. Stick. Good. 140. All right, John, you cooled down a bit. How, how did you feel? How, Just how you a little feel? bit. That was good. I mean, I feel like it would have been easier when I was in my 20s, in my early 30s. Is the potential that I can do things to improve my golf game and fitness. There's definitely potential. I mean, we always have potential. <laughs> I think for you and for anyone who hasn't been training much um, and wants to get started, I think first of all, the, the, the key is um, consistency. Like it just has to be simple and effective, you know, and that's exactly what we're trying to do with the test as well. As I already explained to you a few things during testing, there's a few markers what we can relate into your game. Like one of them would be your counter movement jump and your squat jump. So usually what I'm looking at there is like a three to five centimeter difference. We tested on the force plates today, which obviously gives us a lot more data on the, on the back end. But just for everyone out there who wants to test it at home as well, like a three to five centimeter difference would be something to look at. Whereas you had one centimeter there, so there's definitely a bit of room just to get that dynamic aspect a bit more happening. Yep. And the way we have to see that is, is we have our strength base and then we have how we actually use our strength. Um, and that's why we're probably too close together. We want to get that a bit, bit more effective. Given that you haven't been training much though over the last few months, um, that's, that's definitely something which might come um, quite quickly as well based on the program we were we will set up. Perfect. Um, another one then that holds stability control through your shoulder. Um, we did a, a test on the lying down in that shoulder internal external rotation. So we want a one-to-one -one ratio. There's a bit of an asymmetry between your left and right side, but then as well there's an asymmetry between internal and external rotation. So that's something to work on and oftentimes something what is probably neglected because it does create a bit of soreness obviously through the trunk and through the upper part. But if it is programmed right, then there's definitely things we can do. So that's probably like the, the, the key things in terms of your strength capacity. Definitely a bit of room with your squats. Um, quarter body weight, um, 29 was your number. We want to get that above 40 in a minute. But then overall, to be honest, like you have a, you have a good starting base. And now it's really just about finding, you know, your time two, three times a week yep. um, to get into a good routine. And then hopefully when we retest, um, we see a, a, a gain not just in here, but also translating that obviously into your into your game. So probably not the best of performances, but I am pretty pumped to have some baseline numbers now and to have an idea on the areas that I need to improve just for my general fitness and for my golf. The next thing is that Nils and the coaches here are going to put together a training plan that I can follow through their app. I'm probably going to be training from home. And if you really want to know how that's going and you want me to give you an update video a few weeks down the line, make sure you jump into the comments and I'm happy to do that and tell you how this is translating to my golf game. Also, like I said at the start, these guys work with people here in Sydney and from around the world. I'm told there's a version of the golf fitness screen that I just did that can be done online through a video call. So if that's something that you're interested in or you want a golf fitness program to follow, I'll get them to give me a link which I'll put below the video and you can follow that contact them, look into it and see whether it's something that's going to help you. If you want to see how golf fitness can really improve your golf game, make sure you check out this video where I played a match against long drive champion Seb Twaddle and see how Seb's using his fitness to really ramp up his golf swing speed.